We're on top of two stories this Friday night. We are showing you Super Doppler 10 live radar because it's still raining in Hampton Roads. The weekend forecast a moment away. But first, Norfolk State University fired its president, Dr. Tony Atwater, after just two years. Said your side has been digging all night to get answers. Anita Blanton just talked to him at Waterside. She's live in downtown Norfolk now. So, Anita, what is Dr. Atwater's side of the story? Well, he had quite a bit to say to us tonight, Nicole. Dr. Atwater didn't want to do this interview on Norfolk State University's campus because, well, he's no longer the president there. But it was very clear that he feels betrayed. Now, he shared with us tonight, as you're looking at this video of how things all began with his inauguration there at Norfolk State University, that he thought he was just going into a meeting today to take care of campus business with the Board of Visitors. He was unaware that his job was up for discussion. The board went into a closed session, he says, for about an hour and 20 minutes. They came out and had two options on the table, resign or be terminated effective immediately. My termination was sudden, unexpected, and disappointing. I love the students at Norfolk State University. I love the faculty members, and I love the alumni at Norfolk State University. Always will. I feel that I've helped them make significant strides in two years. Yeah, second year of a three-year contract. The terms of that separation are still going to have to be worked out. But Dr. Atwater says that he feels the record will show that his performance was strong. He also shared with us that he had plenty of challenges working there at Norfolk State University. It was a very unstable environment, he says, uh, that there were four rectors in his two years and that it's in particular been an interesting last two months. He said that this was a political move, according to him, bad politics involved here and that issues such as the accreditation of the school, problems with the nursing program, declining enrollment, financial, ish, uh, financial aid issues, all of those things that have been much talked about are masking a bigger hidden agenda with ties to Richmond. So you were told, on the record, you were told. Let me tell you what I was told. Conversations about. Yes, I was told by reliable sources that there are conversations in Richmond about merger, you know, of Norfolk State and Old Dominion Uni University. You heard him right. He was told, he says, that a possible merger between ODU and Norfolk State University possibly influenced the decision of the board today. Um, and he went on to say that you only need one president if you're only going to have one school. Much more to that conversation. We spoke to uh, students on campus as well who were shocked at the news today. It's only their second week of class in a new year. And this just isn't the type of thing that you'd expect to hear. My dad and mom always tell me, you know, whenever distraction may encounter, you know, always try to stay focused on the main goal. You know, that's graduating, getting a degree. And, you know, just keep it pushing, man. Yeah. So they say they're just going to have to make the adjustment. And speaking of that, Sandra Deloach, uh, the current provost and vice president of academic affairs at Norfolk State University, will now become the acting president. Much more to this story, I'm sure, in the days and weeks to come. And we'll continue to be on top of it, following it every step of the way. Stay with Wavy TV 10 and Wavy.com. We'll keep you up to date. For now in Norfolk, Anita Blanton, 10 on your side. All right, Anita, people certainly are talking about this in social media tonight. Thank you.